Hi guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. So today we're gonna to talk about how to install a floating canvas frame. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I frame my artwork and so today we're gonna to talk about installing a floating frame you already purchased. But I'm gonna do a couple follow-up videos on one, making your own frame, which is a lot cheaper by the way, as well as how to wire a gallery wrap canvas that maybe doesn't need a frame. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So today we're gonna to use a 20 inch by 20 inch floating canvas frame from Cardinale. And I purchased these from Jerry's Artorama. And I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but I find that they have really good deals and pricing. And if you buy a bulk pack of floating canvas frames, they're usually sold at a great discount, which we all know that's very helpful as an artist. You're gonna need a few things to get started. One of those is a painter's tape and then a, a pencil and a tape measure. You're gonna need a couple tools, some pliers and a power drill. And then what I have here is four squares that I use to uh, space out the painting in the frame so that I make sure they're all equally, um, or equidistant I should say, from the edges of the frame and make sure that art piece is centered. Lastly, you're gonna need some aluminum crimping sleeves, and those are those two small rectangles you can see it towards the bottom. I'm gonna put a link in the description below, but these have really saved me a lot of time and energy when installing the wiring piece on the back of the frame. I'll show you in a moment. So you want a workspace that's soft. I'm gonna use a rug here. You can lay down a blanket or what have you, but you're gonna to have to flip the artwork and so it's facing the ground. So you definitely want something soft. So we're just gonna put our art into the center of the frame and it fits pretty snugly, but you can see there's a little bit of give or wiggle in there. So I just wanna make sure that I center that as much as possible. So I'm using these spacers here to help me with that process. And this is really, you know, there's no right way to do this. Most of the time I'm just sort of eyeballing it to make sure that it all looks like it's in the exact center. So take as much time as you need at this point because once you install the brackets on the back, you won't be able to move the canvas around. Now that I have the piece exactly where I want it, I'm just gonna use some painter's tape. You can also use artist tape if you'd like, but I'm just gonna attach very snugly the artwork to the frame because I need it to stay exactly where it is when I flip it over to do the installation. All right, I'm just gonna remove the spacer cards and it's time to flip. Very carefully, just to make sure I don't bump that out of position in any way. All right, so I'm just getting the hardware out from the bag that was provided. So I'm gonna start with the brackets. That These are offset canvas brackets and this is gonna be what allows me to screw uh, into the frame as well as the canvas so that it will connect the two. So I'm just putting one on each side here. Um, I don't worry too much about making sure they're in the exact same position because this is the back of the canvas and so people usually don't scrutinize that too much and it's not going to affect the way that it hangs in any way. So I'm just using a power drill to very slowly install these brackets. I will put an emphasis on slowly. I had one time where I accidentally uh, 
uh, missed the uh, screw and I was using a power drill and I put a hole directly through the canvas on a, one of my very favorite pieces of art. Um, so that's definitely not what you want to be doing. So I would say just go as slow as you need to, to install those. Next, I'm starting to measure uh, the piece where we're gonna, the bracket, I should say, where we're gonna hang the wire from. In the, on a 20 inch frame, I'm going to measure out about eight inches from both sides from the top of the piece. Just depends on what size of canvas you're working with in terms of you know where you think it looks appropriate to be installing the wire. So I'm just getting the hardware out that um, we will attach the wire to and just setting it on each side on that mark that I made. It's not an exact science here because luckily with wire, it, you know, the person hanging the art will be able to make it straight in, you know, regardless of if you're off by a millimeter on one side. So you want it to be equidistant on both sides, but I wouldn't, you know, stress too much if you find you're off by a tiny bit. So I'm just gonna install those. And next we're going to use these crimping sleeves. So I have my wire and the way it works is you just loop it through the crimping sleeve like so. Then you go attach it to the loop on the frame and you run it back through the crimping sleeve. So this allows a very nice and professional look and it's so easy to install. Previously, before I found this hack, I would spend time, you know, looping the wire around my, you know, or sort of trying to tie it myself and it didn't look very professional and it took forever. So this is definitely a time saver. So you're just taking your pliers and you're just crimping down that aluminum piece. Make sure that it's really well clamped so that that wire is not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. I measure across and then I add just a couple of inches where I'm clipping the wire. I like my wiring to be pretty taut, um, but again, it depends on your personal preference. I would uh, advise not to make it too loose because what could happen is when you're hanging the piece, it you can see the wire from the top, right? And so that's not necessarily the look you're going for. All right, so now we can flip it over and take the tape off. And we'll be all set. So this is our final piece that we uh, put together. As you can see, it was pretty easy to install. So I would recommend giving it a try. It'll definitely give you a professional look, especially if you're using a canvas that is a little bit thinner, less than an inch. It just gives it uh, a very polished appearance. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any other suggestions for topics I should cover. See you next time.